Hi guys, how you doing? My name is Tom Antos, and today I've got with me Paul Nazaruk. Hey guys, he's how's our uh, out go to uh, audio guy, right? That I am. Uh, all the productions that we do, like films and stuff like that, Paul always works with me. Now today's video is actually about audio, and that's the reason why you're hearing this really horrible, crappy audio right now. Uh, we're doing this so that you guys can hear basically what the audio would sound like if you're uh, recording the audio directly in your camera. I'm actually using a little, uh, you know, a Rode microphone that I attached because the internal microphone on the GH4 would just be even even more worse uh, than what you're hearing right now. But um, we're gonna actually switch afterwards to wireless labs, kind of to show you the difference. Uh, and also because I'm doing kind of a test, I want to see if I can do a, a sort of a very small run and gun audio setup where I can have two people, sort of like me and Paul here sitting, laughed without using any mixers, nothing, just going directly into like a GH4, like a DSLM, DSLR, or any kind of a consumer camera that has microphone inputs. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what you need to, to, to do that and hopefully it sounds good. Uh, so, you know, whether it's for a video like what we're doing right now with Paul, we're just the two of us sitting, um, or, you know, like run and gun kind of interviews, uh, YouTube videos, things like that. So, um, so what are we going to use here today? We got, uh, we got obviously we got the Rode Link system. So yeah. that's going to be our wireless. Uh, that's going to be our wireless system that is going to be you know sending the audio signal directly to the camera. But what else do we have? And uh, yeah, I mean I always owned one of these great wireless systems. I did a review of this by the way. So if you guys are interested in seeing all the tests and stuff, comparing it to other wireless systems. Uh, I'm going to provide the links for that in the description. Also, everything that I'm going to show you guys here today, again, if you're interested in you know getting it for yourself, you want to find out where, where to get the best prices, things like that, all the links are in the description of this video or on my website at tomatosfilms.com. Uh, so yeah, so I had one of these, now I got another one, uh, because like I said, I want to have two people basically have separate labs, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so we, you need two of these. Now these ones retail. How much was it? Was it two ninety nine or three ninety nine? I think it was three, yeah, three something, three ninety nine, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's three, four hundred dollars basically. Yeah. It's it might not seem like you know uh, like a like a cheap wireless system, but actually comparing this to like I guess like the Sennheisers or like some of some of the other yeah. uh, industry standard. It's, like it's worth it's worth the money definitely in yeah. my opinion. It's and it's cheaper, money. I think, right? It's cheaper, yes. You can find cheaper wireless systems, but I uh, like the Asden ones. Uh, again, yeah. watch the video where I test it out. It's kind of, uh, it's just not worth it. Uh, also, I got this cable, $10 on Amazon. Uh, and this is the stereo breakout cable, which yeah. is basically like a three and a half uh, millimeter jack. Uh, and what, what I'm going to do with this is uh, basically try to connect these two wireless systems into one microphone jack on the camera. Right, uh, and uh, we're basically able to do this because, um, well, I, I think all cameras record stereo. Stereo, right? yeah. yeah, it takes in a stereo jack. So since you, you know uh, any <coughs> microphone that you connect, whether you know it's a lav or even a shotgun mic, they're all recording mono. Uh, so normally you just be recording the same thing on both channels. That's why I'm kind of using a splitter so we can connect two separate labs and we can you know on the left channel record let's say Paul talking and on the right yeah me yeah so you this way you you should be able to get um, you know like I said two different audio sources Into. without using any any mixers and stuff like that um, this thing is a hot shoe or cold shoe uh, uh, like a splitter so you know because we uh, normally you would put this with the, with the, on the hot shoe mount on top of your camera. And it's great if you're just using one of these, but if you need to, you yeah, know, this one, this these. one basically allows you to put put the uh, the hot this mount on the hot shoe, and then you have three three extra extra mounts. So you could yeah. put you know even two wireless uh, lab systems on the side, and then whatever you still have a spare one if you Maybe, want yeah. to put something like else on there. Yeah, yeah, light or anything like that. Yeah. So, so that's why we got it, and this was nineteen dollars on Amazon again. Um, so again. All, for all the information links le, check the description now this thing is something I got because Paul recommended I try it out so yeah well I recommended it I blindly recommended it to be honest but um, you know I picked up one of these two it's the Rode Invisilav and it's you know like a discrete mounting system so you know for sit down uh, when we're sitting down like this for a YouTube video or something it's okay to have you know the mic showing but if you're actually working on a production or something you know this is gonna help you hide the mic a lot better on the talent so 
you know, and I it's actually supposed to. I think also like minimize the the. Yeah, it's it's a little gel. Pulsing, right? Yes, yeah. it's supposed to. That's what they uh, they say. But I'm gonna be doing tests on that to you know find out for myself. But yeah, it's just basically a little gel pack. It's like a little rubberized. Uh, uh, square that you put the microphone, the lavalier microphone into, and then you uh, tape it to uh, to the talent. So yeah, so we'll try it out. We'll see um, what happens with see these. How it's and this thing, this is a pack of three. Now you can reuse them; they're re reusable. So since I'm never gonna have more than two laps, I just got got this pack. This was uh, twenty dollars, right? I believe so. Yes. Yeah, or just and then and then you can get I think like a ten pack or five, and then a yeah. ten pack. So there's there's different uh, you know I guess the, the different size of these. Mm -hmm. So anyways, this is what we have. This is how the idea sounds right now. Like I and said, we're gonna horrible. make it sound a lot better. Yeah. So let's just start hooking this up. So we're gonna put the labs on both of us, and then do you know I guess I connect it to the camera, and then we'll come back and you guys can see the difference. Yep. <laughs> the audio should be uh, a lot better we have the road link system set up on the camera and uh, yeah we're using the lavalier microphones yeah so Paul right now uh, is in the right channel I'm in the left channel so like I said we're without using any mixers directly into my you know G Panasonic GH4 which could be any DSLM you know like Sony a7 a7s2 a7s2 mm -hmm. r you know DSLR cameras like Canon 5d 5d mark II, all that stuff as long as they can record, basically have microphone input, they will all have stereo. Yep. Uh, so that means you can record two channels. So it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Now you cannot, I guess, the, the the advantage of having a mixer is you can independently like adjust the levels, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Obviously one you can't. here we um, we actually just put uh, adjusted the level on the receiver. Uh, we brought it down uh, with minus 10 dB. Yeah. So on the receiver yeah. minus 10, and actually in the camera because the signal is so hot from these mics. We on the camera, I also set it to minus 10. Okay, so, so you can do slight adjustments, but it just affects both, both, both channels, channels yeah. at the same time. Yeah. I guess the way you could do it is you could, I mean, you could take one channel, you know, minus 10 or, or minus 20 or plus 10, plus 20, mm -hmm. because the, you know, the, the road link allows you to do that. Yeah. Uh, but that's you know it's not very like sensitive. It's like you know by by ten you cannot really go like I'd say, yeah, it's a big five yeah it's a big boost right yeah. so it might be too much for you. But I think for most situations this setup should work because I mean when you're doing like an interview let's say or the two of us talking, mm -hmm. more, usually you're t speaking the same tone of voice. Yeah, you're pretty close. Uh, yeah. and nobody's really yelling. So as long as you get I the mean, levels set, unless up. you have somebody who is like who gets a angry, yeah. yeller. <laughs> Paul, what did you say? Yeah. <laughs> I can't hear you. So yeah, unless you have somebody who's deaf and yelling constantly, mm -hmm. I mean it's. Uh, uh, you know, it's, the level should be good for for both people. So uh, it's pretty cool. And then basically, what what I would do is, like I said, I'm recording two the the two different labs on two different channels, and then afterwards, uh, I would probably just merge it, right? As a, mm -hmm. just merged it into one uh, channel. So kind of like so you're hearing Paul on both channels and both you know and yeah. on both channels. Yeah, because it might be if you don't actually yeah if you don't edit it afterwards in Premiere, it might sound weird when somebody's watching it and one voice is coming from it. So you do want to. Mm -hmm. Put it, yeah, merge it, and then make it into stereo, so it basically comes yeah. out on both on both channels after editing. So yeah, so it's, I, I think it's a you know as you guys can see, pretty simple and affordable solution to, mm -hmm. to get uh, two laps. Now, uh, next thing I guess we want to do is just see if this thing really you know makes a difference. So for normal interviews, like I said, uh, we can have the labs outside. Yep, having it show, it's not yeah. a problem. But it's if not you're really doing distracting. A, if you're doing a film or you know some somewhere where you don't want the the, you know, the talent showing that, that that they have the microphone on, uh, then you're gonna hide it usually under a shirt. So today we just have regular t-shirts. Uh, I'm just gonna clip this basically underneath right now, so mm -hmm. you're gonna hear a rustling. So bear with me, and maybe you can do the same thing. We'll okay. see if it makes a sure. difference. So I'll just clip it like this. Uh, I guess normally, like if you had nothing else, you would no, just no, clip it like you, that. You wouldn't really know. clip it. Um, no. If I had, if I didn't have anything else, I would probably just tape it to the chest. Oh, like okay. I would actually take it off the the clip here and use the mic itself. And oh, then, just that. Uh, yeah, do like a triangle so let's, tape. let's let's maybe or something. do that. Let's do an actual test. So I have uh, where is the gaffer tape? I'll grab some gaffer tape and I'll be back. All right. So yeah, so right now I took off the little. Uh, w w should I be taking off this thing? You think? Yeah. Uh, usually, what I'd like to do fun. is. Um, just do a few triangles out of uh, gaffer's tape, and this seems to be uh, some solid gaffer's tape. I can't even rip it properly, so <laughs> um, I mean, well, didn't you I don't, I don't, today? I don't have the strength of my fingers today for some reason. I don't know. 
But yeah, so what I would do is I so would just... So you just take the bare microphone without yeah. the foam on that. Yeah, yeah, the bare microphone. And then I would just make a triangle out of the gaffer's tape. And then basically what the Invisalav does is... Um, you know, kind of it's it it, it saves like you that, right? it saves you from from doing a small little uh, setup like this where you use just a piece of so gaffer's here. tape. Let's do it on my hairy chest. All right. So, but yeah, I would so put what, one. You put inside? Yeah, you would put inside. Put one like this, and then let me get another piece so you can you know you don't have to expose yourself right now. Oh, okay. But I liked. <laughs> <laughs> then right. Just do up another one real quick. And then yeah, I would just put a, like a double one like this, and then now we can tape it to. Okay. So where would you put it? Like I would put it usually like center right here. I don't know. And obviously hold that there for a second because I'm gonna use another piece of tape to make sure that it's actually yeah, that, it's that it holds there. <laughs> it doesn't seem to stick to my. Yeah, head. this gaffer's tape actually isn't very sticky. Oh no. It's not. Yeah. But so what are the the triangles for? The triangles are there just to kind of prevent. Um, like rustle noise and stuff like that, but yeah, the, you know, just try to stick it there as best you can. Okay. And then yeah, you put I your think, shirt down. I think it's good. Yeah. And so then, now uh, I am, I'm moving around. I'm talking. Hopefully it sounds good. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't hear it right now, so I'm gonna hear it when you guys are hearing it. It might be a little muffled because I did. I shouldn't. Like I'm just doing this quick, but you know, it might be a little muffled because when I put it on, I just I covered <coughs> the, the the top of the mic. But usually, what you want to do is yeah, I can have it kind of the top of it exposed so uh -huh. it does pick up. But yeah, like let's say you know if I move around, move my clothes. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but. That's how it sounds. So now what we're gonna do with Paul is we're gonna just use the Invisilab basically to do the same thing, right? Stick sure. it here. Yeah, except uh, it's protected yeah. instead of me doing the triangles to protect yeah. the microphone from rustle noise, it'll, it, the, the gel pack or, you know, the Invisilab is gonna protect it from the rus rustle noise. Yeah, all right, so let, let's do this right now. Ripped some hairs of mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bad thing about using this tape and stuff. Now, can you actually like, Take the Invisilab and maybe stick it to the clothes, so it's not like yeah. ripping the hairs out yeah. of my chest. Yeah, I could do you that. You could do that. Okay. But it's better. I I find like I prefer doing it to the chest because then it doesn't move as much. You know what oh, I mean? Like it okay. stays there because if your shirt moves, then the mic moves with your shirt. Okay. But if it's on you, then it's just better that way for me. I think. All right, let's put this sucker on. So like I said, this is a pack of three, but it comes with nine uh, adhesives. Now, if you run out, out of the adhesives, because I think they're just one-time use, right? If you run out of the adhesives, you can just use. Uh, I heard people saying that they can use. Uh, you can use a toupee, like tape, which is basically double-sided tape, or you can go like get you know uh, the hardware store like the two and uh, double-sided tape, and that's it. Yeah. So yeah, seems pretty good. Just slides in there. It's kind of loose though. I kind of like. I thought it then when you slide it in, it would actually. So maybe probably from the other side. Be a little tighter. Yeah, but it's, it says road this way, so you just assume that you'd. But yeah, let's try it the try it the upside down way. See if you could stick it in like this. So I'm also gonna grab one here and put it in. Yeah, this way it holds better. The road is upside down. And I heard somewhere that it's good to only put it like halfway, not to put it like the thing, so that it's, I guess it's yeah. protected more, right? Yeah, yeah, I've stopped it. Like, well, oh, more yeah. than, I went more than halfway, but it's still not sticking at the top. Like, I find that it, there's a natural thing that it clips into if you oh, do it okay, that okay. way. Yeah, that's true. All right, so, and then just use that adhesive. Yep. So it's just got double-sided adhesive too, but it looks like it, right? Yep. I got this. All right, so now I'm gonna. So, so you think stick it to the hair? You think? Or um, to the shirt? What do you think? I don't know how well it's gonna stick to you uh, with like to your hair, but I've got a lot maybe, of hair. Maybe yeah, maybe to your shirt. So I'll try it to my shirt, and you you I'll do it maybe on my chest, do it. But I can't. So I stuck it to my shirt. Seems like it's holding there. So you're gonna hear me like you know the handling noise right now. I'm just gonna glue it in. But yeah, but yeah, it seems like it's stuck there. Uh, you can't see it, right? No. Nope. Until it is there. And let's see, now I move around. This is how it sounds. So hopefully it sounds good. Now, mine, like I said, is attached to the shirt, which Paul, you're saying probably shouldn't be doing. Should mm. be more attached to the body. Yeah. Because I guess each time the shirt moves, it also moves. But I think the, the silicone gel is supposed to be 
you know, keeping it, um, basically minimizing the noise, right? Yeah. Handling noise. Yeah, take that tape off. All right, so now I'm gonna put mine on directly on my chest. That's when sometimes would be better. We had a uh, a girl here who doesn't have a hairy chest like <laughs> us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So now I have mine roughly at this level here. And it's just stuck and, there uh, like right yeah. away. Uh, yeah. I just pushed it on. I'll push it a little more right now. Hopefully okay. you guys don't hear too much noise, but push it on. And yeah, it seems like it's holding there. Um, so this is how it sounds as talking now. Now, obviously the audio levels, pro I'm guessing it'll go down because yeah, it's they underneath the shirt. It's muffled a bit, yeah. Yeah, so that they're under the shirt. But I mean, well, they shouldn't be muffled, right? right? Well, not, not muffled. Yeah, labs, just, uh, they, they, they adjust uh, this like the low end frequencies. They boost them a bit yeah. to but, um, high end, I should say. High end, yeah. But, uh, but I mean, it's I guess it's just a matter of, of seeing whether you can hear the handling noise too much. Mm -hmm. So like I said, Paul has it attached to his skin. I have it attached to the shirt. Yeah, no, uh, I'm sure when you're moving your when yeah. you're moving your shirt like that, you're gonna hear it a lot. With yeah. mine, it kind of floats over top of it. Oh, okay. But, oh, I think it just dropped actually. Uh oh. The tape wasn't holding very well. No, oh, so that's one thing. Now we are sweating here because yeah. it's. I had to turn off the AC and it's still freaking hot. Uh, but the AC just makes too much noise. Um, so that's the reason why I had to sh shut off the, the AC. So that's. That probably doesn't help, but I mean, it's a good test because a lot of times you will be using this on, on location where people are sweaty and tired and... But it's not um, only, it's also the fact that, yeah, I have a bit of hair there too and it needs, oh, okay. like, you know, I think now I put it a little lower and, uh, you know, we'll see if it stays there, just all right. directly on the skin. I mean, it uh, stays attached to the shirt, well, mm -hmm. it doesn't move at all, with, yeah. uh, I mean, it moves with the shirt, I mean. Uh, but anyways, that's how it sounds, so hopefully you guys... Uh, hear the difference and you and you like how uh, if you do like it like I said, and this is the Invisilab from Rode uh, yep. It's a it's a new product. I think right? Um, I found new. out about it recently I'm not sure how new it is, but yeah, it's it's fairly new okay. I believe and uh, and it's inexpensive too It's you know mm -hmm. definitely worth worth checking out So you do that or do the old I guess gaffer tape trick uh, if you don't mind ripping out some chest hairs <laughs> but uh that's the way to do it. Now, the big test for me was, you know, being able to see that uh, I can actually run two wireless lav systems mm -hmm. into a, just a, a regular DSLR, DSLM type camera. Yeah. Uh, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, you know, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, uh, share it, uh, you know, leave a comment below. Let us know what you liked or what you didn't like about it and what, what you know, maybe you'd like us to cover in the next video. Also, if you are interested in getting in any of these products, uh, and you want to see the latest deals, all that stuff, where you can buy it. Uh, again, check out the links in the description of this video or go to my website, tomantosfilms.com. Also, check out Paul's channel. He's going to be doing, I guess, some follow-up, like, I guess, full review and test of, of these. Uh, yeah. I guess you're saying, like, maybe, you know, like actual field testing it, see how well the adhesive and all that stuff works. So check out his channel for that, plus a whole, you know, a whole other uh, bunch of cool stuff. You got, like... Audio gear reviews, right? Yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of audio gear reviews on my channel. It's going to be just basically audio focused. So, um, you know, microphones, you know, little things like this, like the Invisilav and recorders, anything audio related. Um, I'm going to be doing all that stuff on my channel, Paul uh, Paul Nazaruk, So, And also, Paul, like I said, he's, he's working with, uh, with me and my brother. Uh, we kind of together formed what we call the uh, Filmmakers United project. Uh, where we go around, we help different filmmakers make their, uh, you know, the, their, their dream of basically, or help them uh, make their f dream films. Uh, so we, we help them out. Paul does the audio. I, yep. I do the cinematography. My brother helps out basically any other way he can as a producer and behind the scenes. Uh, and we're working on a bunch of cool projects and there's going to be more stuff coming out on my YouTube channel. So you guys stay tuned. Yep. Uh, check it out. Though. But, uh, but as always, like I said, check out our YouTube channels or our websites. So once again, thank you guys, uh, and uh, we'll see you next time. Yep, take it easy.